Hello adventurers! In this video, I'll be sharing with you 3 life hacks anyone can do on Singapore public transportation so you can reach your destination faster and cheaper. Let's begin! For this first hack, you can consistently save 50 cents each time you take the train. Public transportation in Singapore has a huge problem. During the morning rush hour, which is around 7.30 to 9.30 in the morning, there are a lot of people commuting to work. This puts a huge strain on the train service. To encourage people to avoid this timing, a pre-peak hour subsidy was introduced in 2017. Commuters who use the train before the peak period gets a 50 cents discount to their fare. If you enter the train system at 7.44 and your fare is $1, after the discount, your fare will be 50 cents. The caveat is, it will only discount your train fare. So if you took a bus before you get onto the train, you may be getting less discount. Tapping into LRT also counts as entering the train system. Another easy way to save money is to hack the transfer rules. In Singapore, when you take the public transportation, the price that you pay will be calculated based on the total distance traveled in one journey and your journey doesn't end as long as it follows these rules. So let's hack this and only pay half the price. Let's say we need to go to the supermarket from home. I'll take bus 105 from my house, then I'm gonna spend 44 minutes shopping. With one minute to spare, I'm gonna run to the bus stop and take another numbered bus to go back home. With that, my return bus trip actually still counts as one journey. So instead of paying two price, I only paid one. Voila! I saved 99 cents on my grocery trip. But wait, I can still continue on. I can drop off my groceries, take another bus, take another train, visit my nephew all the way in the other end of the island. And when I tap out, it's still the same one journey. So when you are planning to visit many different places in a short time, this is a way you can squeeze your dollar's worth. Those were the legal ways to save money. To save even more money, now I'm gonna tell you the illegal methods. Number one, take the bus or take the train. Which way is faster? We're not talking about the need for speed kind of speed, we're talking about which one will get you to your destination faster. When you're commuting on the weekdays during the rush hour, there will be high volume of commuters and also high volume of traffic on the road. So there will be a high chance that you will be delayed in your travels. But compared to the bus, the train can handle way more people per hour and they are not really affected by the road traffic. So during rush hour period, taking the train will help your timing to be on track. Another notable case is when it's raining. Motorists will drive slower due to the wet road and poorer visibility. As a result, the traffic will flow more sluggishly when it's raining. That includes your bus. So, when it's raining, you better be training. How about a bus? When is it faster than a train? When your route involves taking the bus, then transferring to a train and having to take further connecting buses, this will result in a higher waiting time and also more walking distance that you have to cover between the transfers. So, when there is a direct bus route to your destination and the expected ride duration is less than one hour, this is likely to be faster for you. Any longer than one hour, there is likely a better train route for it. In this next hack, we're gonna predict the future. I used to have this problem when taking the bus. I leave my house and just as I reach the bus stop, zoom, I see the bus just left. End up, I'll have to wait quite long for the next bus. Even worse if the weather is very hot. Then I learned how to predict the future via this app. Before I leave the house, I will check the app and find out when exactly is my bus coming. I stopped missing my bus and I don't have to wait so long anymore. There are 1,000 other apps that can do this. But I like this one because I can favorite my bus stops. 
After I click the heart shape on the bus stop, it will appear in this tab. It makes it very easy for me to check on my usual bus stops. It also has a very intuitive interface that displays both the bus services and the bus stop locations on the map. I can also easily check the first and the last bus service timing. This is super useful for days that I need to be early or for days that I want to stay out but still catch the last bus home. I can also check which road my bus will be taking. And it can even remind you when to get off the bus. One station before your stop, the app will send you a notification to prepare you to get off. I'm not sponsored, but I really like this app because it helps my anxiety when I know when my bus is coming and where it is going. So I will leave the download link in the description below. Knowing all these hacks is useless if you don't know how to take the public transportation properly. So for that, I have another video here to help you with the super basic steps. I'll see you there. On the Singapore public transportation. Singapore public. Singapore public transport. Singapore public transportation.